What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord and I just want to do a very quick video showing um, Jelly Bean 4.1 for the Samsung Galaxy Tab Plus. I actually uh, recorded uh, a similar video to this maybe about a month, month and a half ago but my webcam went down and has won't let me upload anything so I'm re-recording the video. Um, it's just a very quick video. <clears throat> Not going to waste too much of your time. I said I kind of want to show off, just kind of get a, let you guys get a feel for what you get when you get Jelly Bean for your Samsung Galaxy Tab Plus. Um, this should be available for um, P6210, P6200, um, it should be available. You should be able to just go into your software and search for the firmware. If not, you can go to xdadevelopers.com and download the firmware. As you see, the interface is totally different now. It looks like a gigantic phone. You have your your clock is way up at the top now. You have your back home and we apps at the button at the bottom gigantic widgets so if you're a fan of the phablet UI then you'll like this if not then you're gonna hate it cool thing about it though is it does fit in line it's fall in line with the other um, Samsung products so if you have a Galaxy uh, Galaxy S phone then you should be able to see that it just fits up, fits right along with all those. It looks just like the the other Galaxy devices. Your notification now bar is from the top now. If you want to clear all, there is the clear button. You have your recent app button. The one thing you notice is uh, it is pretty smooth. You're not going to find a whole lot of lag going on in this tablet. If you want to get rid of something, you could just swipe it or swipe it away. And you have your task manager. You you can access Google Now. So if you want to get to Google Now, you can get to it right there. You can ask Google a question. So, let's ask the Google question. How tall is the Empire State Building? Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. So, there you go. Nothing major. You can also access Google now by if you hold the home button. And you can swipe up. You can access Google now that way. Besides that, um, not a whole lot has changed, and you have to forgive me if I'm forgetting anything because I've had this update for so long that I kind of forgot what uh, what the old update looks like. Some of the widgets have, I think have maybe changed slightly. The widgets are huge now, so that's kind of awesome. So you can get nice gigantic widgets that really fill this fill the screen. Um, I think a couple of apps may look slightly different, but I'm not sure. Maybe your alarm app looks different. So these are your alarms. Now your camera app looks exa exactly the same. No, no change there. It, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems to take pictures a little bit faster. Maybe it's just. And never mind. Now that I say that, it takes forever to take the pictures. So. There we go.
the gallery uh, I think the gallery is a little, little bit different not a whole lot it still functions exactly the same internet browser may be a little bit different Not much, not much has changed there. Just you're gonna notice when you the biggest change you're gonna notice is that is pretty much the launcher, your app drawer. It just looks, it just looks different. It doesn't really function too much different, but it just looks different. Um, no new widgets. See, there's there's a lag that we see. Every once in a while, you're gonna see lag just when opening the widgets drawer. And sometimes when swiping around in the home screen, but opening apps is generally fast. Um, backing out to the home screen is generally fast. So far, I think it's a pretty good update. Um, again, just go to about device. You swipe down, go to your settings. You want to go to your settings, and you're going to go down to about device. And you're going to see status. Hopefully, this will focus. Maybe not. You want to go to software update and you know, check for update. And if there is an update available, you should be able to pull it down. Um, if you can't get to it that way, then uh, you can always go to XDA Developers. Um, you can find the firmware. Um, you can find it in um, TAR. You can find it in the MD5, and you can just flash it uh, using Odin, which is what I did. I tried to flash this firmware using Mobile Odin and my tablet went to a boot loop and so that's not good so I've read that uh, you cannot flash it using mobile Odin you're gonna get a boot loop so to be safe just go ahead and download it to your PC and use good old-fashioned Odin and do it the old-fashioned way but uh, if you have any questions over this firmware or anything just leave a comment below like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, second accord. I'm out.